Yo, welcome to Vega Bomber Land, movie fans. Where me, Vega Bomber, talks to you about your favorite thing and my favorite thing, movies. Well, on this particular episode, I'm going to talk about the movies that I absolutely just straight out dissed this year. Movies that I decided were so bad that I wasn't going to go see them at all. Basically meaning that these movies did not get nary a dollars from me. Not in the theater. Now maybe on VOD later, video on demand, maybe, or maybe, you know, I'll watch it on DVD, but I wasn't going to spend the $15 on these. Why? Why did I just diss a movie? Well, I dissed the movie by not going to it for one of three things, and maybe all three in the case of these movies. One, it just wasn't anything that I was even attracted to. Was didn't even, I didn't desire it at all. Two, um, it's a movie that the trailer didn't do enough to really get me excited about it. Or three, just the word of mouth about it. Nobody seemed to have anything good to say about the movie. So while it's my dollars coming out, I'm like you. I got limited time and limited funds. So I can't just be watching every movie just because it's a movie. So these are the movies, my top 10 movies of 2014 that I dissed. I distanced from, didn't get nowhere near. Number 10, Ouija. Now that's the movie about that that, that board game, the Ouija game, which is kind of weird anyway upon itself, but making a movie about a board game that's kind of creepy to begin with, eh, you, know, you want to sustain my attention for two and a half hours or something like that, or however long the movie is, and typical movie time, about you know, an hour 45 to two, two hours and 15 minutes, no way, not gonna waste on a movie like that. Number nine, Hercules. Now, I'm not talking about the Hercules that had um, the rock in it, although I didn't see that one either. I'm talking about the other one. I mean, I had absolutely zero desire to see this movie. The trailer just did absolutely nothing to compel me to go see this movie. And then I actually didn't hear of anyone that actually went and saw it. So that definitely made sure that I would diss it, just not even participate. Number eight would be The Exodus. I had no desire to see it, even though I love Christian Bale and I love Ridley Scott as a director. I just saw the trailers and I was like, you know, I like the telling of the story, like the way Cecil uh, De DeMille did it when he did the Ten Commandments. I, I kind of like it when they stick as close as they can to the source material. I'm okay with you having to change some things, but when you do that and then you hire actors, you know, to play people from another land, it's like, come on, it, it's a bit much. So I had no desire to see Exodus, although I do like that story. Um, number seven movie that I dissed this year completely was Annabelle. Now I saw The Conjuring. I thought The Conjuring was pretty decent, really good, good acting and everything like that. But just building this off, of, based off of just the doll from that movie, again, the, the trailer didn't sell me, and everyone I talked to that saw the movie just dissed it. So I was like, okay, save my money. Kept it right in my wallet, went and bought something else instead, probably a DVD of a good movie. <laughs> Number six movie I dissed, gave it no, no merit at all, was Tammy. And I like Melissa McCarthy. She's pretty funny. But... I could just smell this one out. When I saw the trailer, I was like, no, 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 no. This is almost going to be like Ernest Goes to Camp or, or something like that. And I had no tolerance for that when I'm spending my hard-earned dollars for it. Now, if I'm wrong, then, you know, comment below and let me know if this was really a great one. Let me know if you di agree or disagree with some of these anyway. Tell me I, sh I should have seen them in the theater. And if so, then I'll watch them on video. But number five, let's get to the top five movies that I just absolutely just this year didn't go to at all. And that would be Dracula Untold. Um, there's an easy joke there about being untold. Uh, let's just put it this way. Dracula, uh, how many times have we seen vampire movies? Again, the trailer did nothing to compel me. And the people I heard that went and saw it, none of them said, go see this movie. And by the way, word of mouth is kind of important. And sometimes I'll go see a movie anyway, just because that's what everybody else wants to see. And I'm just getting along to get along, you know, sort of thing. Number four. Uh, Noah, same problem as Exodus for me. It's targeted for a certain market since it comes out around Easter, but the folks that know that story would not appreciate this at all, and certainly I didn't. Um, and I didn't, I didn't even want to go to see this movie. I had friends on both sides that wanted to go see it, and some did, and some said it was all right, but for the most part, eh, it's like saying Spider-Man got bitten by an aardvark, but he's still Spider-Man now. And it's like, no, it's another movie now. As soon as, it, as soon as he's bitten by an aardvark or something else, he should be called Aardvark Man. It should be something else. This is not necessarily Noah. I don't think the elements were really there enough. It was like Noah, but not so much for me. Number three, Dumb and Dumber. I don't care how many people love 
Jim Carrey and those two together. I just, I didn't, the first couple ones that came out in the, well, I don't know, was it 90s or something like that? They were okay. I don't know, all right. Yeah, they were quotable and they were kind of funny. They were pop cultures, but there was no way I was going to go see this one. I had, it just seemed like a money grab and there was, I just didn't think, I just didn't want to waste that two hours out of my time because it's time I could never get back. So there was no way I was going to go see that. Now, if I'm wrong, comment and let me know and I'll at least watch it on, on um, DVD and then maybe I'll make a video about movies that I didn't go see in the theater but that I enjoyed on DVD. That's a possibility. Number two, I, Frankenstein, same thing as Dracula Untold. Just like Noah and Exodus are kind of the same boat, so was Dracula Untold and so was I, Frankenstein. Just didn't believe at all and then the premise didn't want to even see it at all. And I like those older films. My favorite was The Werewolf, but you know, if you start to do the old classic monster films and you try to update it too much and you just make it all unbelievable, there's my desire level goes down and then the trailer didn't do anything for me and neither did the word of mouth for that movie. And now the number one movie that I straight up dissed, didn't see, so if there were great iconic, you know, lines from it, I guess I won't be saying them unless I just copy or regurgitate someone else saying it, is Transformers. Had absolutely no desire to go see this movie, so I didn't. The trailer was decent, but I still was thinking, nah, nah, I'm not going to buy the hype. I'm going to be that one guy that doesn't like it. Like, you know, that one guy that doesn't like Star Wars? Well, I'm going to be that one guy, I guess, that just doesn't like Transformers. Actually, I kid. I think there's a lot of movie fans out there that thought this movie was absolute. Well, you can figure out the rest of that sentence. So anyway, those are the top 10 movies of 2014 that I absolutely dissed didn't show up for, played hooky from, got as far away from as I possibly could because they just weren't compelling enough for me to pay attention. Anyway, this is your boy Vega Bomber and here at Vega Bomberland, thank you for coming in. I'm on my I'm on my way out. So yeah.